Welcome on Cisco and on this video clip we're going to talk about writing equation of parallel lines. So let's see the first thing. First thing uh, I would like you to see it's uh, this uh, discovery as, as I called. You can find on geogebra.org where you can see that in order for two lines to be parallel they have to have the same slope. And you can do this discovery, like I said, on geogebra.org. You can see the answer here in the next slide. And also you can see here the theorem that goes with uh, this discovery. And uh, you can always click new graphs to see um, more choices, more uh, lines that are parallel lines and you can notice the slope is the same in this case the slope is negative four thirds and don't forget this discovery it is on geogebra.org now let's see how a problem looks like and uh, here we have uh, an equation given in the standard form negative x minus 8y equals 5 and we will need to find the equation of a line parallel lines that's passing uh, through 0 and negative 7. The first step, and you can see also on GeoGebra I call step 1, uh, is to find the slope of the given line. And for finding the slope of the given line, we're going to need to solve for y. And this is the slope intercept form of the given equation. And here we can see the slope is negative 1 eighths. And this is the slope of how I like to call it, the line 1. Line 2 is going to have the same slope. And the given point, 0 and negative 7. Okay, so now we have enough information to write the, uh, to go on the step 2, where we're going to use uh, this uh, uh, slope of negative 1, 8, and the given point, and the point slope form to write the equation of the second line. As you notice, I put the slope point form, and in this slope point, long slope point form, we're gonna uh, use the uh, information we have: the slope of negative one eighth and the point uh, zero and negative seven. So this is the answer for this problem. Uh, on GeoGebra, don't forget, you can click on each step, step one, step two, and also they can show you the work for each step. And you're gonna see that in the very next slide. Okay, so yeah, that is the equation of the line that is parallel of the given line and those two, zero and negative seven. Uh, as I said, this you can practice more on uh, geogebra.org these uh, skills if you 
enjoyed this video clip don't forget to click the like button and um, i'm waiting for you back on c square thank you